and flexibility is the new capacity. So instead of adding just, you know, we, we, here in Canada, we, uh, we plan for peak demand and we build out, you know, sometimes incredible excess so that we can meet that peak demand. Instead of looking at all other kinds of ways of approaching this, such as storage and demand response and market design. And I mean, there's the kind of stuff that I'm seeing all the time in the United States, but rarely see dis discussed here. But your report highlights that and says that's the future. That's where we need to go. Absolutely. So those are the types of innovative market de design features that we can bring. So we're still at the very start of this in Canada. We haven't brought a lot of these market design features on demand response and, and active engagement, dynamic line ratings, uh, smart integration, um, that we're, st we're still at the low hanging fruit. We can do this smarter. We can operate this grid with greater flexibility, facilitate the integration, facilitate the use of our grid. And, and build up that interconnection because that resilience of this grid between different regions, we have this capacity, we have great geographical diversification of our resource that we can support each other um, it, either across Canada or North and South. Both of those bring stability, uh, resiliency uh, and flexibility that, that will enable um, the grid to power our economy and power great jobs in Canada. 